Ezra and SW on YouTube will go on YouTube as Ezra Dark the 64. Thank you for your time. As always, Kogazu is the referee of the Titans TV Arena here on NSW. And it looks like the challenger is Troy Ortunga, who we saw compete in the top prospect tournament of 2021. Might be bad news for Troy Ortunga, because Ryan Grunge, after winning that belt off of Benjamin Creed, has a mean streak. Former bodybuilder, before pro wrestler, and now he's got an amateur wrestling background. Oh, what a back suplex on Ryan Grunge. Now, Troy Otunga is an athletic kid. He could go airborne. He's going to need to use his speed, though, if he wants to beat the television champion. And oh, that's a vicious brain buster by Ryan Grunge. It looks like Troy's seeing stars. Oh, great count of this. Hey! Nicely done by Troy Otunga. He's got to use his quickness, though. And the ice head scissor there. Beautifully done. Stay on him, though, if you want to be TV champion. Oh, that's a nasty strike. Oh, and a knee strike by Brian Grunge, who recently won the belt off of Benjamin Creed. Oh, oh what an insecurity. Oh, where did he learn that from? And a stop to the spine. Oh, no. The triangle choke. This is not good. If you draw your tongue right now. Kogzu looking on. And already Toyo Tungle's had enough and tapped out in this title match. Wow, that didn't take long. First title defense and Ryan Grunge, well, basically ragdolled his ass. Oh, you got to give Toyo Tungle credit. He, he accepted the challenge, but it wasn't enough. Ryan Grunge why he's the television champion. He's definitely got a new mean streak about him. Adding submission to his background. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think he's done. I don't think he's done. Looks like he wants to send a statement to future challenges of the TV title match. Oh, my God. Throws it back in the ring. Oh, come on. He's done. You don't need to do this. Oh God, right into the spine and he's in the corner clutch. You've proved your point, Ryan Grunge. God, he's only a kid for crying out loud. Oh no, the Grunge Buster. Oh, that could damage your neck. right now, Storm. Oh, wow. Just, yeah, straight to the point. Right, okay. Uh, I don't think NSW fans will appreciate that. The militia of Japan looks dangerous as ever. If you've witnessed the last episode, Shikamoto and Travis look like they're on fire. A dominating display on their part. Future tag team champions in my eyes. Speaking of tag team action, we've got two tag matches this week on the SW Titans. And one of them features the Kagi squad, led by Kyo Uchiha. So be ready for that one. Also, if you missed the past episodes, don't worry. Go on AzurDark the 64 on YouTube, hashtag AzurNSW, and you get to see all the past episodes of NSW Wrestling. Also, if you love gaming, we do gameplay videos. We also do occasional music from Music Maker Jam. Also, pay attention to those. They're really good, hopefully. 
A funny feeling storms after a championship. I mean, who is it these days? Anyway, moving on. First tag team match of the card. The Northern Outlaws, Ian Newsbrack and Cassius against TK Shields and Gibson McCarthy, who we saw in the top prospect tournament. And straight away, Ian Newsbrack has developed a new mean streak of late. I mean, he used to be one of the popular wrestlers here in NSW. And since teaming up with Thomas Fuller, I think he's slowly turning to the dark side. Same for Cassius as well. This does not look good if you're TK Shields right now. Oh, Hawkscrew elbow from the top row goes for cover. And only a one count says Kogazu. And now taunting at Gibson McCarthy. Very disrespectful from Cassius. Into the corner, TK Shields goes. Great counter. I wish up to his corner, maybe tagging Gibson. Oh, what a drop kick there by TK. Beautifully done, slingshot leg drop. TK Shields, we never saw him. He's like on his debut match. One of our graduates here in this W. I don't know how long he'll last in the ring. Ducks under a clothesline. Oh, God! Turned him inside out! It's like a cat playing with a mouse! God, the Northern Outlaws are definitely something. Double hit toss into stiff kicks there between Ian Newsbeck and Cassius. Counter there by TK Shields, all but Ian counters back. The former Eastern European champion now discontinued. Oh, what a roundhouse there by Ian Newsback. Goes for cover. Gibson breaks the count. Oh, but meets the boot of Cassius. Oh, I want to check for some loose teeth. TK Shields in real trouble. They're just, the Northern Outlaws are proving their toughness. Oh, wait a minute. Nice lariat there by TK Shields. Can he build the momentum? He's got Ian Newsbeck down. Stay on him. Oh, strip to the ropes. He's going for something, but he's judged it. Ooh, what an uppercut there by Ian Newsbeck. A straight uppercut. Kicks out of one. Thomas Willow watching on. The leader of the Northern Outlaws. Almost a trio of Northern England's there. In the corner goes TK Shields, tags in Cassius. This does not look good. Oh, that has to hurt. And Cassius going for, yes, a reverse figure four ankle lock. And TK Shields is so close to his corner. Can he turn in Gibson? He has to crawl there. No, he cannot. He tapped out. Cassius is lethal with submissions. Well, a very impressive victory for the Northern Outlaws. I think this is their first tag team match as well. And already showing good cohesion as a team. What has Thomas Fuller found in these two? This is actually quite scary to think about. Let's see what's next for the next match card. Next match, Susan Ryan briefly had a match with Erwin Shaw last week, and now she's got a match with the former NSW UK Knockouts Champion, Cynthia. Can Susan Ryan redeem herself after that loss? Oh, wait a minute. Cynthia's running in the ring. What's she got in mind? Susan, you better look out! Oh! 
trips her on the ropes. But a bell gets on the way, but Cynthia already taking the advantage. By the way, she lost the UK Knockouts Championship to Miss Ramirez. Oh, God, just stomping on her face. Cynthia is no joke in the ring. She can brawl, she can catch wrestle, she's got a submission background. And, oh, God, are these punches? Surely that would be the disqualification there. And she can brawl with the best of them. Russian leg sweep there by Cynthia who probably wants a championship back or maybe to go after the World Knockouts Championship you never know with Cynthia or a great counter by Susan Ryan who's got a fight on her hands honestly if I was Susan Ryan do not let Cynthia have breathing room or room to strike or she's lethal and she's got that deadly future shot to the with a backstabber right there from Cynthia. She's ruthless and aggressive in that ring. She's always full of rage. Sometimes rage can win you matches, but it can also lead you to missed opportunities like an elbow drop. Nice counter there by Susan Ryan. What's she got in mind? Oh, wait a minute. Fisherman Brain Buster, nicely done. Stay on her, Susan. You can't give wrestlers like Cynthia time to recover. Oh, just a vicious headbutt and a knife edge chop to follow. God, now just rubbing salt to the wound. Cynthia's no joke. What a bit, great counter there by Susan Ryan, getting out of trouble. Doing that NS double graduate. Oh, great counter, the jawbreaker there by Cynthia. Oh, God, just brawling away. It's more of a street fight than a wrestling match. Oh, she's stuck in that corner. Runs to the ropes. Nicely done, Bulldog. And now Cynthia's fired up. Waiting for Susan Ryan to get up, is that wise? Super kick by Cynthia, that's a new one. And she's out. Usually she goes for the future shot PDT, but that running super kick. That could break. Ouch, though. Well, here we go. Oh, right in the jaw. Almost in between the teeth area as well. I wouldn't be surprised if she's seeing stars right now. That was, oh wait a minute, she's not done. Oh come on, you've won the match. There's no need for this. Susan doesn't know where she is right now. There it is, the future shot DT by the former UK Knockouts champion. Oh great, she's grabbed the microphone. Now what? Just staring daggers at the recently new crowned NSW 
NFLW Knockout World Champion. She won the bell off of Tammy McCarty back in NFW Unleashed and then defended the bell last week against Susan Ryan. This will be very interesting. I'll say two great talents right here. Potential title match here, maybe, in the future. I have no idea. I'm not the one that books these matches. This could get real rowdy. Alan Shaw just looks confused as hell. The medical team just took Susan Ryan to the medical bays. Hopefully we'll find out if she's okay or not. After that devastating super kick and DDT. We'll keep you updated on that. Oh, the NSW fans are loud tonight. And where would we be without them? always angry. Even as Knockouts UK Champion, she was never happy. She always walks in with a chip on her shoulder. Whereas I was sure, even though I had to get rage herself, but she sort of saves it for the ring. I would like to see these two compete. Hey, she had a bit of stop you. Bet this match. Well, that'll probably get me fired later. Well, Owen Shaw's laughing it off. We've got to move on to the next match card, though, soon. Oh, and a knife edge chart by Double Blade. 
no nonsense fighting. Uh oh. Tags in darts and spears. This isn't good. Roundhouse to the Brainbuster combo. Now, darts and spears is a very interesting character. Probably the loose cannon of the shadows. Osborne Nero in a bit of trouble. They've got a little cocky though, nice counter there by Osborne Nero. Darkson counters back. Counter after counter here. What can Osborne Nero do to get out of trouble? Has him in a fireman's carry. Oh! The PTK! And into a nasty single leg drop kick. Throws him to his corner. The Luchadors have, well, hit up the upper hand. Darks and Spears says none of that. Throws him to his corner. A knife edge cut, rolls him down. Oh, God! It's like a cannibal! Those drop kicks Darks and Spears do. It's like, oh. He, he does come with speed and force. Double blade in the ring. Osborne Nero needs to do something to get out of it. Uh oh. Fireman's carry. Stunned on the ropes. Ooh. No mercy shown by the Cardi squad. And Kyo Chiha watching on, the leader of the shadows. You know they're always lurking, plotting, planning, always ready to take over. You just never know when they're going to strike. Well, wait a minute. Nicely done, Hensel's takedown by Osborne Nero. Now stay on him while you've got the chance. Double Blade rolls away, knowing his arena awareness there. Gilberto tagged in. Uh-oh. Oh! That nasty cable neck breaker there. Irish up to his corner, Gilberto in trouble yet again. Oh, and a stiff kick to the kidney area. Great counter by Gilberto. Little play counters back, throws it back to the corner. Gilberto counters again. Getting a little fired up here. Irish up to his corner. Trying to get the upper hand for the Luchadors. Little play gets out of it. Misses the grab, goes to the German suplex, counters. Blade again, throws him to his corner, trying to finish off Gilberto. What have they got here? Oh! Double axe out. Oh, this double. Oh, okay. It's like a beat down there. Oh, dear. Go straight for cover. And Osborne breaks the count. Oh, now action's breaking loose. Gilberto has to do something to get out of trouble. Cargi squad right now. Not while they're in momentum. Traditional back suplex there by Darks and Spears. Now going on top. Oh, nothing there. Gilberto rolled away. Counters with the head toss though. Oh, come on, how's that legal? Poison missed the face. Oh no, we've seen this. Gunbuster! Kick his head off the soccer ball and that's it. And somehow Gilberto kicked out. But was that really wise? He's now in a torture rack position. Torture rack, neck break up a double play. That's counting. It. It's over.
they just keep getting better and better each and every week. The Akagi squad is a team to be feared. All Kagi's going to get the heck out of there. Oh, come on, you've won the match! Osborne Nero in the centre of the ring. That's like... This is so unnecessary. But this is the shadows. They don't care. They're here to send statements and hurt people. The staff double blade. in the air right now. These two have been feuding for some time. Now locking horns here. Fletcher probably has the strength and athletic advantage. Riku has probably the striking and technique advantage and speed advantage as well. Anything could happen here. Jumping knee strike from Riku. The defending world champion. I'm not used to saying that here on an SW. Oh, misses the clothesline. Oh, knee to the mid. Max kick on the top of the head. That's that striking advantage Riku has. Now Fletcher got him in his clutches, throws him over the ropes. Oh, but gets caught out in the roundhouse. Riku back in the ring. Fletcher counters the fist. But oh, wait a minute, picks him up with a fireman's carry. Front slam into a centaur. You know, it is weird seeing Fletcher Kazarian as a challenger and not as a world champion. Oh, pump handle, scoop slam into a fist combo. It's going to be weird for him. Great counter by Riku. This is your main event of the evening here, folks, on NSW TV. Here on Azure Darkness 64. Oh, he busted in. Almost a face buster. What has Fletcher got to be thinking right now? Skips down by Riku, the defending world champion of NSW. Runs to the rocks. Blunt over DDT, nicely done. Goes for cover. Not even a one go. Lock up again, oh, a knee strike again. Oh, single leg club kick there by Riku. Fletcher and Will Trouble actually. I mean, honestly, just watch this match on NSW Unleashed. They went all out. Oh, great counter by Fletcher with the front line. Former NSW World Champion. Remember what's on the line. The NSW World Heavyweight Championship. Great count of the draw breaker there by Riku. Oh, wait a minute. There's the first simplex, rolls over. The second. Looking on for a fish and it goes for the cover, but put on the ropes. Oh, 
crazy night this is on the SW Titans Arena. And now Rika going for the Dragon Sleep. Ooh. Oh, Rachel and the spine as well. That can't be good for your back. Fletcher gets out of it. Oh, nasty fist for Fletcher. And a back suplex to follow suit. He really means business tonight. He really wants that world title back. I mean, he's part of Extreme Club. I bet every member of Extreme Club said to Fletcher, you better get that world title back. Or sooner or later, someone else will. So the pressure is really on Fletcher right now. Got a roundhouse there. And now putting a boot on his throat, probably to send a message to Extreme Club. Rika has ruined his event. Oh! Just yanked him out of the corner. And somehow Fletcher kicked out. And now Rika going for the arm lock. Trying to wear down the powerhouse athletic Rick Silla from Finland. And let's give Fletcher credit. Two years as world champion. I don't know many wrestlers in ASW can hold a belt that long. Oh, wait a minute, he's stalling with the suplex, trying to rush the blood to his head. Because that's what Fletch is going for, yeah, a stalling suplex. Oh. That'll make you feel the effects for sure. And now Fletch has fired up, and SW fans are getting a little worried. Close line by Fletcher, and again, picks him up, you're gonna slam, and slams into the mat. Riku might be in trouble. And somehow Riku kicked out. Oh, but Fletcher just really not messing around. Oh, God, just sending a statement, not punishing him. Oh, great Canada. He was going for the cut of it, got out of it. Gets kicked in the calf area. Oh, he rolls over. Nice count of a Riku. Counters the judo arm drag there. Counters the boot. Oh boy. Down he goes. And somehow Fletcher kicked out. Remember what's on the line, ladies and gentlemen, in this main event. The NSW World Heavyweight Championship. And so far, Riku's the second champion of that belt. Oh, what a nasty senton again by Fletcher Kazarian. Again, Riku kicks out. What a fighting champion Riku is. Fletcher getting a little frustrated. He's thinking of that over 9,000 bar. for the centre of the ring. Picks him up into a fisherman suplex. He's got his toes up his lap. That is over. Riku defends the belt. Fletcher back of the line. Well, some may say, has he cashed in his rematch clause too early? In this case, maybe he did. But for now, Riku once again keeps the NSW world title. And what a main event it was. Extreme Club will not be thrilled. They'll probably send whoever they can to stop Riku. But for now, Riku's our world champion still. Thank you, both, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Yes, Riku's still our champion. 